Hi and welcome back to Sansa Med. This will be the last video of our T-cell section. We'll talk about the T-regulatory cells. So what's so special about T-regulatory cells? We'll find the three surface molecules there, CD4, CD25 and FOXP3. Uh, CD4 is usually found on uh, T-helper cells, but uh, there have been many evidence that they have also been found on the T-regulatory cells. CD25 is essentially a compartment of interleukin-2 receptor. It's just a part of it, uh, which is needed for proliferation of cells. And FOXP3, it's very unique to T-regulatory cells, but at the same time, although it's considered to be its master regulator, it's really not known what the actual function of this is. You might have uh, heard the, the other name of T-regulatory cells, which is the T-suppressor cells, but nowadays they mainly use this new term. So what are the basic function of T-regulatory cells? It is suppression of the immune system and prevention of autoimmunity. So what does that mean? So usually when you have a pathogen infecting you, such as a bacteria, your immune starts to respond and release a lot of inflammatory cells. But the inflammatory cells can actually become even harmful to you. And therefore, they are prevented by certain cells called T regulatory cells to not overdo their function and start even attacking your own system. And therefore, it will suppress the immune system once the pathogen has been eliminated. The other major function of T regulatory cell is prevention of autoimmunity. Autoimmunity, it's a very nice way to describe that your own cells will attack you. Normally, we, have, uh, we use terms such as self and non-self. Self refers to your own body's tissues and cells. Non-self is uh, something foreign, such as pathogens. But if the immune system is overactivated, then it can even attack your own tissues because uh, it will consider them as foreign and therefore you will have an automatic immunity, autoimmunity. But the T regulatory cells prevent this function. That's why in many different autoimmune diseases, you will find one of the causes or association is downregulation of T regulatory cells. So how does it do that? It does it by primarily two cytokines. One is transforming growth factor beta, and the other one is interleukin-10. Both of them have uh, major anti-inflammatory functions and that's essentially the main cause of the suppression of your immunity. You have two main types of uh, regulatory T-cells, the induced and natural. Induced is also called the, the adaptive uh, T-regulatory cells. It's mainly that it provides and maintains an environment for gut against allergens. So what does it mean? You're constantly exposed to environmental and uh, food allergens that would start to cause severe immune response in your gastrointestinal tract. But uh, these the T regulatory cells, they work by maintaining a non-inflammatory environment in the gut. What's special about induced T regulatory cells is mainly that it's formed outside thymus and are highly associated with CD4. The other type of uh, regulatory T cells is the natural. This one is uh, the one that main mainly focuses on prevention of autoimmunity and downregulation of immune system. The downregulation of immune system uh, mainly refers to that it will induce by different cytokines environment in which your body needs to have a much higher stimulus to cause uh, an activation of your immune system. So essentially it will increase the threshold of activation of your immune system. And uh, this concludes our uh, section about uh, T-cells. Hopefully you learned something new. Thank you.